shopkeeper was insanely honest and he was very frank as well. He said, Madam, don't worry, the color will not last long. After the first wash, it will vanish. <laughs> right? So, he, not, he didn't lose what he said, he lost his job. So that's why honesty is not always the best policy. When Joseph narrated this particular story to me, I said, Jerry, this is the thing for the day and you have to speak for it and you can't speak against it. Then he thundered, why they are having to understand the thousand medium of bank accounts was just gone? Do you remember what Anand Pele said? Speak out. Don't conform. If you feel that the theme of the meeting needs a bit of tweaking, tweak it. I felt there is a logic in what he said. Then I sheepishly asked him, Teddy, if honesty is not the best policy, then what is the best policy? He said, honesty coupled with sanity and a bit of diplomacy is the best policy. And he came out with a brilliant explanation again. A young pediatrician was examining baby, a three month old baby. And he explained, oh, what a cute baby. But the dad was not very happy with that. He said, doctor, you must be using the same phrase with everyone. The doctor said, no, no, I use it only when the baby is cute. The dad, being a software engineer, spoke like a software engineer. He said, if the baby is not cute, what do you do? The doctor fully responded, if the baby is not cute, I will tell the baby that you just look like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so then he said, you know, honesty is not the only best policy. If you need to couple it with the diplomacy, then you can rock. So ladies and gentlemen, there are quite a few guests amongst us. For the benefit of the guests, let me take them through what Toastmasters is all about. It was the year 1924. Dr. Raj sees Medley's mission to empower people to shape in the form of a club called Toastmasters Club in US. And ever since this club has grown by leaps and bounds, and today we have more than 14,000 clubs spread across 120 countries across the globe. I'm helping millions and millions of people to become better communicators and better writers. So I think for that simple reason, we also deserve a big round of applause for being a part of this wonderful organization. <laughs> the typical Toastmasters meeting will have three sessions to begin with. We will have a prepared speech session where a speaker comes on stage, delivers a project based on the speeches that he has prepared or she has prepared. And the second important session is called as a table topic session in which a speaker comes on stage and delivers a speech without any preparation of the cuff speaking. And the third most important session is called as an evaluation session in which a seasoned Toastmaster recites the entire proceedings of the meeting and comes out with ways and means to improve the quality of the meeting policy. So today, to take us through the evaluation session, we have this Toastmaster. Who is a seasoned Toastmaster? He works as a senior manager with VHEL and he has mentored more than hundreds and hundreds of people, Toastmasters. The first president of District Sri Lanka and India, and the list goes on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, please put a hands to the welcome, the general evaluator of the day, Toastmaster, Vasco Abraham. With John Bosco Abraham, we have three other evaluators, or in, in fact, the support group players. I call the tag team. As a timer, we have Srinivas. His job or his role is to note down the time taken by each and every speaker and provide a report at the time of the meeting. As an R counter, we have Vijay. Vijay. His role is to note down the R's, R's, fillers, and many other that sounds and then he will provide the report of the fact of the meeting. As a grammarian, we have Kamal. His job is to note down the good usages and the not so good usages and he will provide the report of the fact of the meeting. And with that, we will move on to the first session. That's the prepared speech session, that the session that we are all waiting with greater brain. Our first speaker is attempting seventh from the competent communicator manual. May I request his evaluator, Joseph Das, to read out the guidelines. Thank you. 